Get a nice close up on my elbow. Who loves classic nachos? I do. And I was thinking about them all day long. We knew we were going to have one of those nights where we had a uh, concert to go to for our daughter. Pretty much Kaki picked me up from work and then she came home, had dinner halfway prepped for the kids. Uh, she went for her exercise. Mm -hmm. I fed the kids. Kaki came home, changed. We went to the concert, had a wonderful time. Oh, it was so cute. Hey, Abby. Hey, Abby. How are you? It was like a Christmas concert. So, Hello, Marks. Hey, hey. Yeah, it was a Christmas concert. It was super cute. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and uh, I just, I kind of, I just wanted to do something really simple tonight. So, asked Kaki to pick me up on the border uh, tortilla chips and a block of cheese. And we're going to have a, a nice uh, classic nachos night. But Kaki's not doing that. No, I'm not. So... Uh, what I originally wanted was teriyaki chicken with green beans and some sweet potatoes. But honestly, Ugh. guys, I am way too tired hey, to like, even cook any of that. Yeah. So I just have ham and ha jalapeno Havarti cheese wraps with some, with some classic Lay's chips. That's what I have. Ugh. Once again, Kaki ca uh, calculated Super simple meal. her calories I did. with everything. I did not. I've been bad this week, but hello, Mama Perk. But uh, I'm more. Hello, Cassandra. Hey, hey, I'm more. Uh, like Kaki always helps me with everything, so I don't want to be a burden and have her do my stuff. So uh, if I do, you know, a big calorie meal like tonight, I usually would count it, but I just didn't. I'm okay. I'm tired. Went to the gym. Oh, hello, nice, Emmy. Abby. How you doing? Hello, Emmy. Vesicles from the Vesicles. Mm -hmm. Who are you? Jamie, is yours nachos? Yeah, classic nachos. Yes, ma'am. Uh, almost called you mama. Uh, Mark's gum ham and Havarti. What ham, else is Okay, so it's ham and jalapeno Havarti with lettuce, tomatoes, onions, and some Dijon mustard with some regular chips because I need some balance. I've been craving chips and I don't want to go binging on them. So I had to have some chips. I originally was going to do tater tots, but then like one serving of tater tots was like pitiful and I didn't want to do two. And our oven is making and a weird noise. Is like, yeah, our so everything like was haywire. Everything was used in like uh, the broiler form. Yeah, I feel like this light is way too close to me because I keep spazzing out light wise. Turn it down, back up. Or back, no, I'll back it up. No, you're right, you're, you're, um. I'm like, I, I uh, think my sweatshirt is yellow, and I think it's what's making the lighting issue. All right, let's try these nachos, Sounds shall we? Sounds amazing, yeah, I think it's going to be amazing, but I really want some chips. Oh, yeah, very good. Chicken bowl, huh? Anybody that is noticing that me and Kaki are coming off extra tired. You know that our schedule changed. It's gonna take some of adjusting to do. But eventually, like we always do, we find our rhythm and we uh, we boogie down. Hello, no Nicole. What's y'all favorite ice cream? I'm a vanilla guy. What do you think about Punk back in the WWE? I'm very happy that he's Chocolate back. Chocolate for me. Chocolate's your favorite? Chocolate's my favorite flavor. Of ice cream, absolutely. Oh yes. I would have pegged you as a mint chocolate chip. I mean, I like mint chocolate chip, but if we're going like oh, these are good. chocolate vanilla or strawberry, chocolate's my favorite. <laughs> I really thought you were a mint chocolate chip. Oh, mint chocolate chip. I love mint Out chocolate chip. Out of your favorite, just because that was always the one you would always pick. Hello, oh. Dennis Brady. Hello, Dennis Brady. How you doing? You guys get any sleep? Mm. Oh, no. Wow. No. No. And before, Jamie was just like, are you drunk? I was like, no, I'm freaking tired. Yeah. I'm just tired. She flipped <laughs> on me when, um, because... I'm tired and I'm hangry. Well, <laughs> like he never left. You're damn right, Zach. I'm happy he's back. Yeah, they're, the, they're my favorite tortilla chips. Mm -hmm. Those are mine, too, because only because they're like, they're thicker than like the regular tortilla chips and they don't break. Yeah. 
can't go wrong with just chips and cheese, you know? I'm just going to continue eating chips because I haven't had chips, guys, in like almost three weeks. Well, you don't want your sandwiches? I do, but I haven't had chips in like three weeks. <laughs> These are so good. What the hell is I going to say? Oh, wow. Oh, Kaggy was supposed to get a, she was going to get her nap in like she usually does, but because we had the concert, mm, there concert. Was no, I asked her right before we went on. I was like, you just want to skip tonight and I'll just I'll do what we do. Uh, why did your schedule change? I must have missed it. Yeah, we're both getting up early. We kind of switched roles. I get up with the kids. Um, I get up with the kids for school. And then and I, I go. Get up, and I get up with the ass crack of dawn. Kaggy gets up at 5 o'clock to get ready for work. So she's gone by 6 o'clock. And I'm getting up with the kids at 6 o'clock. 6.30 to uh, get them ready for school. So I'm going into work a little bit later, and I'm getting home a little bit later. Does she ever smile? Smile, LOL. I do smile when I'm happy. Right now I'm tired. Uh. I don't smile when I'm tired. And I don't smile on command. No. Sorry. Well, I was going to say, if you want to That's just... That's the one thing that bothers me is when somebody tells me to smile. Oh my God. Because then I just won't do it. Smile. You look so pretty when you smile. Maybe I don't want to look pretty. <laughs> What's up, Mama Bear? Abby, I'm surprised you can see anything because I'm getting a yeah, blurry, a blurry a connection. Blur. I think yeah, tomorrow. I'm beyond exhausted at this point. I don't blame you if you want to just eat until mm. you don't eat no more, and then you could just molly on up to bed, you know. Hello, Catherine. How are you? Oh. You thought I was a stay-at-home mom? No, I've never, I was a stay-at-home mom when our son was like one. Uh-huh. I went back to work. Many moons I'm ago. Not, yeah, I'm, I'm not a stay-at-home mom. I haven't been one in like, a ten, long like time. 10 or 11 years. I would love the hey, Kath and Marianne. I would love the op Hello, Mary. I would love the hey, opportunity Mary. to be a stay-at-home dad and mm -hmm. uh, work you from home. Were. Work. I was a bum that had like mom duties that I didn't even do a good job doing that. But the ultimate goal with me, and it's not to be a social media megastar. I don't care about that anymore. I truly don't. I just want to be able to work from home. And make a honest living. I'm not a greedy person at all. Do you ever do Indian food? It's rare. Yeah, it's very rare that we do Indian food. I think we did it like once. Just thinking about sales. I was honestly thinking about being one of those guys that call you and bother you while you're at home. Oh, salesman. Why would you like to buy some my GoPro? Oh, you mean a telemarketer? Hello, my milk. Yeah, I got the notification this time. There you go. How cool hey, Munch, get hello, Mr. Jimmy Jam. Drink that money maker. Watch the viewers come flooding in. I don't think so. I think if I tried shaking my money maker, it would chase them <laughs> away. Hello, Grim. What's up, Grim? Okay, Mary, I have ham and jalapeno Havarti cheese wraps with lettuce, tomatoes, and onions with some Dijon mustard. And potato chips. Real estate? Hello, Shirley. Don't you have to have a special license to do that? My aunt was a real estate agent. You have to have a license to be a real estate agent. My stepdad used to tell me to smile while I was doing chores. I gave him the finger to anyone who tells me to smile. <laughs> Hell yes. Hell yeah. I love that. <laughs> Hell yes. You should smile more. No. I will smile less if you tell me to smile more. Jamie, your little pancakes. Moneymaker? Munchkin, are you talking about my balls? 
<laughs> Being baked? What are you talking about? Oh, cheeks. Are you talking about the cheeks? Kaki, if you ask Kaki, she'll tell you I don't have a butt. I happen to think I used to have a nice one. I would say a long time no see because that's what it feels like. I enjoy you both. Oh, that's okay, Graham. We're on to you now. You're here every night. <laughs> yeah, it's all, it's all right. I think, you know what, you know what, Grim, you know what's funny? Certain people come in here and based on their name and their name alone, I think of something, right? And with you, because your name's Grim, there was this guy, I don't know if he's still, is he still around, but he, he did like a <clears throat> toy show. It was Grim something. I don't know who you're talking about. No, you wouldn't know. What time should we be on the lookout for you guys? Mm, hopefully earlier, considering I have to be at work at super early. If Kaki's with me going forward, it's going to be around 11 o'clock. 10.30, 11 o'clock. Uh, you know, hopefully. But it's it's this is going to catch up to her because she's not... It's already catching up to me. When she it has hasn't the, been a week. When she what's up, Albert? When she has the chance to nap, like uh, yesterday on her day off, she couldn't do it. I so tried. It didn't happen. She is gonna wind up. There's gonna be nights where I'm solo, either right here or in the cookie corner. Why does TikTok Live say on Sloppy Joe's? But you're, I mean, not Joe's, Albert. And I must have not changed it from yeah, yesterday. Yeah, you probably didn't change the pin. Hello, Lucky Do. Shit, how did I not do that? I didn't even oh. realize I did that yesterday. It's not delivery, it's DiGiorno. It's on the border nachos. Can't wait for tomorrow. I gotta get through tomorrow, guys, and I'm <laughs> weekend bound. And then work next week, hopefully, because it's Christmas week, it'll, it'll, be, uh, it'll be something to look forward to. So, I'm just... Uh, what's in store for the weekend? Seeing my Chris, any Christmas? Yeah, we're gonna go Christmas yeah, shopping. Yeah, we, we're going Christmas shopping this weekend. Shaking it like I made it. Yep. <laughs> I have to get shoes this weekend. Like, it's not even a question. My shoes stink so bad. And yes, they do. It's getting so cold that I can't run into Crocs anymore. So shoes are on the list this weekend. Shopping in New York City, absolutely not. Hell no. <laughs> no. <laughs> Ain't nobody got time for that. Ain't nobody, well, ain't got, nobody time. got money for that. I'm not shopping in the city. Absolutely if you know, you know. No. Yeah, J well, Jimmy Jam, for uh, for Kaki to join me every night, she's got to start getting uh, more sleep. I don't like a cranky Kaki. Yeah. Nobody likes a cranky. I don't even like cranky. I don't even like myself when I'm cranky. Let alone cranky and hungry. I'm over myself at this point. <laughs> I'm over it, too. I know. I know probably everybody probably is. Hey, John. I know Sunday I threw everybody through a loop when I was just like, get away from me. Who? <laughs> no. On here? No, not on here. It was like Sunday morning. Was I sleeping? Yeah. Okay. And like they were all arguing about a cup and I'm just like, why is it so loud in here? Everybody's arguing over a stupid coffee cup. They call me Joho? <laughs> Kaki, can you say hello in the uh, in the TikTok chat? So oh, Joe... what's the wife's TikTok? Okay, sure. I'm gonna say hi. You'll see Kaki twenty nine. That's hi. me. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Joanne. I was gonna say that too. <laughs> <laughs> hi, Aunt Joanne. <laughs> Jamie, not sure if you ever mentioned you both. Ever enjoy a drink on the weekends? Whiskey, beer. I don't drink no more, Grim. I will have these, uh, well, if I'm gonna be blunt with you, if I'm looking to. Or honest. Or not blunt. Blunt honest. is honest. Blunt is honest. Mm -hmm. If I'm gonna be honest with you, if I'm looking to enhance my confidence in the bedroom, you know what I mean? And me and Kaki have the time and the privacy. 
then I will have these little shooters, like one or two. Um, but I don't drink beer no more. I don't. It's been You're a very a long. It's been a very long time since I had a beer. <laughs> I used to be an alcoholic, so. Um, and Jimmy just, treads lightly. It don't take much to get me. No, it, it doesn't that. take much for Kaki to take advantage of me. Put it that way. Um, that's number one. Number two, I just don't enjoy it. I don't, you know, it's it's. Not, I just, I don't know. So go away, Jimmy. Oh, did we miss a mean comment? Mm. Hello, Monica. Oh, they said, or use baby powder for your feet. No, no. Because you have stinky feet. Yeah, no, these shoes are... Get order eaters or use baby powder. That's not mean. He was giving constructive criticism for Jamie's feet. No, 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 no. (laughs) Or maybe... No, no, no. Um, I think the comments are getting mixed up. Um, Hey, Monica. Hello, sultry. These shoes are... are, are, Oh, my goodness. (laughs) They're bad. I was going down a rabbit hole of Jamie Van Lemer on the TikTok search bar, watching all these videos from years back. Yeah. (laughs) Alcohol... The YouTube feed keeps pausing. It's only no, Albert. It's our connection. Devil's eggs to the menu. She'll be slurping it. Down. Oh my god! Hey yo. What's up, Gosh, Sultry? Reach? <laughs> I'm not reading all of that out loud. Running is a healthy replacement for drinking. Yeah. You, you, Jimmy, you use baby, baby powder? powder to absorb the the moisture. I mean that makes sense. If I were to take my shoes off in your house, <laughs> not even 30 seconds you'd be telling me to leave politely. That's not me trying to be funny. A or... teacher made Jamie stick his feet out the window. Yeah, this goes way back. I've always had problems with not wearing socks or jumping in puddles. There you go, Albert. Good for you. I ain't got nothing wrong with a little green. I just don't like it. You say moisture? In the other words, moist. See, that word doesn't bother me. Moist? No, that's your mom. It bothers your mom. I have words that I won't repeat on here. Um, I just don't like the sound of You know what I don't? I don't like bussing. I mean, I don't get oh, it. Busting. It doesn't ear. It, it, I just don't think it's a. Me and my brother were talking today, and a lot of you guys that are in here right now, it's probably around my age, maybe older. But the world is a lot different from the '90s than the '80s. Obviously. And Completely. today, I swear to you, my head has been. I almost feel like someone picked me up by the shoulders. And put me in an identical world where I'm wrong with everything. Like I'm in my I'm in the same world, but everything is different. Nothing makes sense. I'm wrong with everything I do. Everything I wear, everything I say, there's no winning. Today is that day where I just felt out of place. Like I was I'm not supposed to be here. Hello, Christina. Why do you have so many haters on TikTok on some of the older videos? That was probably when I was Actually, I was popular on TikTok. That comes with anything, you know. Now my videos don't really get seen, so there's not so much hate. If there's someone hating on me, they're a hater for years and years, you know. Hello, great blonde. The lingo is completely different. Everything's different. <clears throat> I guarantee you, the way we used to look things up, guys, was an encyclopedia. If we were to show somebody, like I don't know. Somebody maybe like, I don't know, 18, 19, maybe 20 years old, and an encyclopedia, do you think they didn't know what it is? Well. Do you think that they would know what it is and what you do with it? Well, <laughs> we were at my, uh, do- we were at our daughter's concert tonight, and I, and me and my brother are talking. And Guarantee I, you they wouldn't. I told them, I said, look around. I said, what is everybody doing? They're on a phone. And I'm not innocent. I'm not saying like. I never uh, go on my phone. Excuse me. No, but there was young kids there too that yeah. had a phone and yeah. they were on their phone. But I'm more aware. I'm more aware that this the 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 the, 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 
the inter- the um, internet is like taking over everybody's life. Everybody, we're always on it because it's, and I get it, but at the same time, I'm seeing everybody doing it. It's making me like, want to kind of step away. Yep. What's up, Jess? Hello, Jess. Mm. Right? Remember the library? Yeah, I guarantee you if you were to give like a kid these days an encyclopedia and tell them to look something up, they would have no clue what to do. No clue. Not well, a clue in the world. Anyone else freezing or is it just No, me? it's probably it everybody. Probably it's everybody, Stephanie. I don't know why. Our Wi-Fi is just I would remember on the, the fritz. I remember the salesman that would knock on the door every summer to sell encyclopedias. We had it all. Well, I apologize. You guys don't have anything to worry. I do. I do want to apologize about. I guess you know um, what happened with the dog. The dog story last night. Mm. We never plan on what the topic is going to be. I don't think it was the dog story. I think it was like somebody said like. If, no, I don't want to get into it. It again, was. But. It had to do with the dog. Mm-hmm. But um, and that's something. I guess we did. T- we did, did. You know, it is what it is. I mean, it, it happened. But no sadness tonight. No. All sunshines and lollipops. Taco. Uh, Jimmy Keggy's got a ham and cheese wrap. That's not Jimmy. That's Albert. Does Kaki love tacos more than Jamie Rollins loves pizza and garlic milk? I think it's equal. Like, my love for tacos is probably the same love Jamie has for pizza. I could eat tacos every day. Yeah, I could eat pizza every day. I just might start doing it. I think I'm going to start doing pizza for a pre-workout. Seventh grade math makes no sense. Let me tell you, any math that they teach, regardless of the grade, makes zero sense. Our daughter was sent home with this like bull cocky math and I, I was watching. looking at it and I was just like what are they trying to do here like it doesn't make any sense it makes zero sense like why are you I gonna understand. make this more complicated than what it is two plus two equals four that's all we need to know we don't need to know x y and z does this and this and this and that. I don't really care about you, that. Like, you, I just want to get... You're right, Braxton. Straight to the point. <laughs> we had to be forced into the house. Now you have to beg them to go outside. Forget about it. It's like they're vampires. They can't see the sun. I'm... I... 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 I you know... When my mind starts going... And wanting to change... Something... Um, it might take a little bit, but I do eventually do it. And I don't want to just shelter shock them and take everything away. I want to do it and I I want to replace it with something to where they don't want to constantly have the phone or the tablet in their face. What are they teaching? I don't even know what they're teaching, Mama Fred, because it doesn't make any freaking sense. You know, I was listening to an interview today. And this lady has a coffee shop and she has a cell phone jail. And I think I was thinking about making a physical little jail for not just their stuff, but our stuff too. It's like, okay, from this time to this time, phones go, you know, devices go into jail. And I want set times until it's like you used to. I don't want to take it away from them completely because this is the way the world is going and I don't want them to be, you know, behind. So they they, 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 they do need it, well, but not the way they are doing it right now. Well, here's the thing. Everything that they do now basically in a class- classroom is basically done in a Chromebook. Everything is done by computer. There's no pencil and paper. Pencil and paper happens maybe during a test. That's about it. Everything else is done in a Chromebook. Yeah, I just think it's crazy. So there's no need for like neat handwriting. They no. don't teach. Cur- they don't teach cursive. How the hell are they gonna sign their name if they don't teach cursive? Hey Tracy, did I say hello to you? Everything is Chromebook. Exactly, Mom. Perry. Everything is Chromebook. Everything is on a Chromebook. <sighs> but 
happened to the good old fashioned pencil and paper? I, uh, you know what? I'm like a half, I've never fully knew how to write in cursive. I was always well, half and half. To, I write fluently in cursive. Could yet you still have to buy 4,000 pencils. Which what gets me is I bought so many damn pencils at the beginning of the school year. Couldn't tell you how to write a Z in cursive. Oh, it's so easy. Or B. Do you guys remember Billy Madison? When he's writing on the chalkboard and he does the little... That's how my shit is. <laughs> Swear to you. If I fill out a card for Jamie, I can't write in cursive. Because he can't read it. <laughs> if I fill out a card, if I fill out a card, it is... It looks like a fourth grader wrote it. Some are capitals, some are lowercase. Signature doesn't have Never to be perfect. in cursive. Well, mm, I guess you're Top right on that. But for me, my signature needs to be in cursive. Just because that's how I was taught to do it. Like, that's how you sign your name. That's your signature. It has to be in cursive. That was how it was for me. I want a blizzard, too. Oh, right. Oh, Jamie. Come on. I think we're close to the same age you learned cursive. I did learn it, but I didn't pay attention. Mama Pert, I was, um, how do I say this? I wasn't, I was not good at school, meaning I didn't care. I didn't want to learn. I did what I had to do to get by until eventually I was old enough to make the decision that I didn't want to finish school. And that's the, you know, this decision I made. I don't ever, you know, I regret it now, but um, and I would never tell anybody else to do that. But, you know, school was not my forte. I was uh, driven and kind of knew I was going to do wrestling. And I did. But, you know, when you're young and you're dumb, you think you know everything and you don't, you know? <laughs> Mom and dad always tells you what you don't want to hear, but at the end of the day, they're right. So. That's true. Yep. <clears throat> and, uh, you know, and that's the same thing with me. I married into three step boys. Oh, boy. Got your hands full, huh? Do they like you? I hope they do. I didn't like my dad when he first came into my... I shouldn't say that. I did like him. And then he told me he was going to marry my mom. And that's when the flip, that's when the switch flipped. And Jimmy became Dennis the Menace. <laughs> I was, uh, I was, uh, I wasn't fun to be around. I was like a little shit. <laughs> that's me being nice. Honestly, I was a little shit too. Because my mom had like a fiance. And I was a little shit. Because I didn't like him. Yeah, I didn't hear what? this story. I won. Yeah. She was engaged to this guy named Steven. 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 Mm -hmm. <laughs> and why did you ever I never heard of this story? I never really talked about it. Honestly, it's not something I really think about, but like you saying that like triggered a memory in me and like I never really liked that dude. Never really liked him. And I was like a little shit. And I would like make him take me to seven eleven. That's kind of like how our daughter is. <laughs> like pushy. <laughs> Yeah. I'm like, take me here, and I wouldn't stop until I got what I wanted. Gee, I wonder where she gets it from. Um, anyway. Good to know it wasn't me. <laughs> yeah. She ended up obviously not marrying him. Fifteen you. years ago, they loved me? <laughs> Good. She ended up not marrying him. I know. And I think I've... it might have been because of me. <laughs> Ten grandchildren. Well, if Kecky, if you ever left me, and I had to find somebody else, um... And my kids were little cock blocks. I don't know what I would do. I don't know. Good thing for you, I'm not leaving you. I think one day, um, I think, actually, I think that day already came that we kind of figure like, we're stuck with each other, but we're happy. Not no, in a bad way. We're not stuck with each other, we're just together forever.
What should I order for dinner? What's your options? I didn't mean that in a mean way. We're stuck with each other. I think we're, we're perfectly fine the way we are. We're partners, yeah. He didn't mean it in a bad way. I knew exactly how he meant it. Yeah. I'm not offended. If I'm not offended, nobody else should be. No. I don't think anybody was offended. I think everybody kind of knew. I think learning a trade or craft is probably better than school for mm -hmm. a lot of people. TikTok mm -hmm. is proving a lot of young people just want to be lazy bums, and that's another reason why I'm kind of, I don't want to, I don't, I, Jesus, I, I can talk the whole stream. And Albert, I agree with you on that. I think learning a trade is way better than going to college. Learning a trade, in my eyes, is way better. Only because... Nice, John. It's hands-on learning. Hands-on learning. Whether you go, to, you, go to, you go to college, you get a degree in whatever, you have no hands-on learning, and then you get a, 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 a job in that field, and you're brand spanking new. You don't know what the hell you're hey, doing. That's why I agree with learning a trade. I don't know what I want. I know my current job right now. I like it. Hello, Nancy. But that whole feeling that I was telling you about today, it really got me thinking hard about Excuse everything. Me. Hold on, my mouth. Maybe somebody can relate to this. Do you ever find yourself in an argument or a, like a disagreement with somebody and in your head you think you're right, but other people disagree with you and they're taking you know, the other person's side? But in your head, you're telling me, what is wrong? How can they think I'm wrong? This is how it was for me all day today. No matter what I did, no matter what I said, I was wrong. I was the bad guy. I shouldn't have done this. I haven't shouldn't have. And I'm not talking about just at home. <laughs> the home one is kind of story because of the way I dressed for our concert tonight that we had to go to. Um, but I'm talking about at work, in real life. Uh, it seems like I'm just... I'm not where I'm supposed to be in this world today. And it got me all kinds of screwed up. Even with a degree, most of them can't spell. You're right, Shirley. Very 100%. Weird. All right, my MILF. So I had two wraps. Um, they were carb counter, carb counter, carb balance, whatever the hell they were. They were like six calories a piece. I did some ham, some jalapeno Havarti, lettuce, tomato, onion, and some um, Dijon mustard. They were delicious, by the way. Absolutely delicious. Not what I actually wanted for dinner, but they were still good. I will never put a plate of nachos on an edible pizza plate ever again. Do you have facts to back it up? What's that? Are you, talk, are you talking to... Uh, Facts to back what up? At, see what they said before that. They might not be talking to, to us. Oh, do you have facts to back up about like how I'm feeling today? Or being right? I guess it's just uh, your opinion, right? Like, if you do some... Why you felt off. Oh, I don't know why. I have no idea. No, Jamie doesn't know why I felt. A off. couple of th I, that was the first. Can you pick me up from work today? That was the first that was thing the he said first, to me. She asked. She always asks me the same thing. How was work? How was your day? How was and it's work? usually me being quiet, and I don't really say much. Uh, she picked me up, and I just told her. I said, "It feels like I'm not supposed to be in this world. If something is, something's off. I hope. I hope tomorrow is better." I really do. Like, I've always been the odd bird out of everything. Always marched to my own drum. I've always been different to some degree. But today was the first day that I felt like maybe it's not... Like, maybe I am fucking wrong. Like, maybe... I, I don't know. Very weird. What'd you say? Maybe um... She's like, I love Boris Edovardi and Gouda cheese. And I said, me too, my mouth. I wish for Oh, 
I said me too, my mouth. I, I love, thought you say something love, to me. No, Havarti and Gouda. Love them. Both smoked. So good. That's not good. Yeah, I hope tomorrow's better. <laughs> I made the joke tonight because, you know, and it was nothing serious, but I showed up late to, uh, well, not late, but later than everybody else that showed up to my, you know, our daughter's concert. You weren't even late, though. It didn't start until 7. Yeah, no, I was later than you guys, and I walked in, and then the gym was already there, like, packed and stuff. Not packed, but I walked in with my shorts, a big, you know, fluffy white jacket, a backwards hat, eating a slice of pizza. And, you know, and shoes. And I was like, why would you, why would you, you know. I didn't say anything. No, you didn't. I didn't think there's anything wrong with it. Um, did you not sleep well? Me? I mm. never sleep well. <laughs> it's, I, I, don't I know I am, Marks. Well. I know I am. That's, and I'll tell you this because you asked. Um, I purposely haven't posted a running video. Because anything that comes out of my mouth is not going to sound very good. It's very dark. And I kind of figure... I'm still running every single night. But anybody that enjoyed those running videos... I'm not saying they're done, but... <clears throat> everything I found myself saying was like very... Uh, you know, you ever meet somebody and every time you say hello, how are you? It's hey, Mr. never. Savvy. It's never. I'm doing good. How are you? It's always well. This they constantly having something going wrong in their life. Um, I, I kind of, you know, I felt like every time thing that comes out of my mouth was just like not good. I got a lot of things going on that I haven't shared with you guys yet, and I'm sure I will eventually, but. I kind of want to just try to fix it. I don't share a lot with you guys, to be honest. Yeah. I keep most of it to myself because I don't want to put that stuff out there. You guys have a lot going on in your minds, and that could be impacting you. Yeah, you're probably right, Mr. Savvy. I know, Emmy. I would agree. When a lot of things happen in a short period of time... It really messes with your your mental state of mind. And for me, I've felt off since last February. You know, I feel like something clicked, something changed in my head last February. So, I don't think, uh, I think eventually I'll fix it and find my way back. But right now, I'm just kind of trying to stay quiet you all need to share don't be afraid no not afraid We're we not share afraid. we share a lot we share a lot on here there's just some things that I don't want to share with you guys no offense but there's just some things I need to keep for me for me and Jamie just because there's just you know, I agree with there's you, Jamie. like we need some sort of a privacy thing between the two of us who like me and you like when I tell you things yeah like I don't share them here no I share I them to you yeah 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 no 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 but I know I agree yeah me and Kagi talks to each other we say we almost tell you guys about everything but there are certain things I will yeah bring and, up on and, and that's nothing that's nothing personal that's just you know the privacy thing that's just me not wanting to I'd be up to sharing absolutely yeah, everything. Yeah, I know. Jamie's an overshare. I'm an overshare. Jamie's a TMI type of guy. Yeah. Um, not me. Um, I'm more of a private type of person. To where I'll share stuff with you guys, but like when it comes to like my really deep internal things, I won't share that with you. Yeah, Jimmy. No, I'm. Not, I 100 percent agree with you. Is I, that's what kind of keeps me grounded at the Bunyan end of the day. and all. <laughs> Jimmy Jam. None of, uh, yeah, but I, so for me, the reason I wouldn't want to, because I would, but I don't want to come off as that person that always has something wrong with them. So, hey, blue eyes. That's the only reason. Long it, time no talk. How you been? I, I haven't would, talked to you in a while. I'd have a camera on me twenty four seven. I'll be very honest with you. <laughs> if I didn't have kids to worry about embarrassing them, I'd be one hundred percent fine with a camera on me twenty four seven. Yeah, you would. I wouldn't. 
I would sign up for it in a heartbeat. I know you would. You would live for that. That I'm would just, be like your I've dream. always been, I've always been a ham for the camera. And I've always wanted to be important. Maybe we are at the midlife crisis age now. I mean, we might be. Um, listen, I'm about to turn 40. <gasps> Extra tonight? Albert, you think so? Hey, Tracy. <laughs> you know what, Albert? Go on, got... Survivor, and make a million. There you go, Cass. <sighs> I was telling Taggy uh, after dinner last night, so I got a lot of Seth Rollins comments tonight. She goes, yeah, but you always do. I said, you know what? If we ran into him and someone said, Seth, look at Jamie. He looks just like you. <laughs> I said, Seth would probably be insulted. And she goes, why would you say that? And I said, he's kind of how he had to, because I know how he is. And she's, I didn't say call him a dick, but I'm like, he's, he got that like dickish thing. And she goes, yeah, but you're kind of a dick too. <laughs> I didn't say nothing. I just kind of kept on doing. <laughs> Oh my god. I was being Not honest. Because yeah. sometimes Jamie can be a dick. <laughs> sometimes Jamie doesn't like to hear the truth. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, thank you, uh, Great Blonde. Yeah, pizza's tomorrow, Matthew. Thank you. Pick a fast food place. Burger I'm King. I'm starving. Burger King. Yeah, hell yes. Go to Burger King. If Go I to Wendy's. Or Taco Bell. Actually, I would probably pick McDonald's over Burger King right now. Gross. Never pick McDonald's unless it's breakfast. Oh, we know Munchkin. We know Burger there's, King is there's, so good. There's a, a handful of you guys we know who to talk to. I know that my milk. Mm, you know, you know that. Bunch of tests. That. It is what it is. You know, still cracking jokes. This BS doesn't define me, nor will it change me. You know, about I missed what you said before that I can't I can't move it, the other thing. Would you imagine one of your kids' teachers watches your lives? <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised. I get wouldn't funny looks. Me. I get funny looks all the time. Wouldn't shock me. Do you guys have a metro diner? Their food is. Pr I don't know. I don't, might. A metro diner? I don't think so. Emmy, I know. What the hell? I, I'm, I was surprised too. I noticed it yesterday. I'm like, wow, my hair's growing back fast. Love the bowl. Love both. Love you both and want the best for you both. I hope everything gets better. Thank you, Mama Kurt. We appreciate that. Thank you. We are um, hopeful. <sighs> here's, here, here, here's how I'll end this with a positive note. Oh. The crazy shit me and Kaki are going through right now uh, as a family, like I said, little family, I think is doing nothing but uh, making us stronger and more closer together. Our relationship. You know, yeah, we do this every single night and we've always had a close bonding and that's why I'm like so against us splitting up for a night or two. You know, because it'll just... But I think, you know, the changes that are about to happen is going to make it stronger for us. So it's a good thing. Yeah, I think so. I was too. talking to you from the hospital. That is it. It is what it is. Oh, I'm sorry. He was in, I was in the hospital last, last week, week, and we were talking to you from the hospital last week. But crying about it and complaining doesn't do sh about it. This doesn't define me. It was okay. I got you. I got you. Oh, well, Jimmy Jim, I hope you're feeling better and you're not in the hospital. Yeah, anymore. me too. And that's why I was talking about Jimmy. That's why I was saying I haven't really said anything. I didn't want to be. Starting to be known as the crier, you know. Oh, Jamie, there's always something wrong with him. You know what I mean? Jelly Bean. Hello, Anne Marie. Just very weird. Felt like I was in a different world today. I'll say that. You done? Yeah. Has Kaki ever done the live without you because you were? Yes. One time, I had to leave the room. I had the flu. Jamie had a stomach bug. It wasn't the flu. You had the stomach bug. I had the fucking flu. No. It was it, bad. No, it was a stomach virus, and you were puking. Yeah. And then I had to hold it down. And then what happened to Kaki the next day? Kaki got it. Kaki was puking. <laughs> Kaki was puking, and I was fresh as a daisy, mm -hmm. baby. He was like, nothing ever happened to him. 
And there I was, yakking my brains out. I'm curious to see who was there that night. Because I don't know what <clears> stream <throat> it was. It was a Sunday night. Because Jimmy Jam probably remember Jimmy Jam. No, and it was a Sunday night because I had did lasagna subs, and I ended up throwing up lasagna subs the next day, and I didn't eat lasagna <laughs> for a very long time. I just run it, Jimmy. <laughs> he said, "Thank you, Nora. If I suddenly disappear, just know I'm haunting all of your asses. I'm a Halloween baby. Would you expect anything <laughs> no, different? No." God. Jimmy, do you remember you or Munchkin or maybe Fasting Bastard had to be there that night where I was I had to leave and Gaggy held the stream down? When of you mofos were there? I want to say it was like 2019. It was definitely 2019. Because our kid, one, our son, who was in school at the time, and Mr. Savvy caught a disgusting virus, brought it home. Jimmy Jam was there, yeah. Yeah, I remember. I remember him being there. I remember the stream, and I remember me being like, "I don't want to be left alone in here." And then you left me alone, and then I just thought it was gonna fail like the entire stream, but I didn't. I think I did a pretty damn good job. Also, when you had to get your kid from the sleepover. Oh it, yeah, that, that one too. I'm like, why the hell has Jimmy gone so long? He should be back by now. <laughs> gone for like twenty minutes. They live five minutes up the road. <laughs> yeah, Melissa, I don't know. You have it saved in your in your favorites? I was there, I remember. <laughs> I know you were there. You were there. Jimmy Jam was there. I don't know if Bass and Bash just might have been there. Chooch was there. Who? Chooch. I know. I said who? Sometimes, let me tell you a little story. Yeah, we say who to people we don't no longer talk to. Yeah. This <clears throat> Howdy, Jeff. <sighs> oh, boy. You ready to go wrap it up? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Do you eat pizza every night? No, just Fridays and Saturdays. I have classic nachos tonight. Fridays and Saturdays and occasionally Thursdays. Sometimes Wednesdays. I don't know. Depends what day of the week he's feeling froggy. <laughs> uh, it's going to be windy time. and rainy all the weekend. All right. Oh, good night, Barry. We'll see you guys tomorrow for pizza <gasps> and whatever Khaki makes. Yeah. I don't know if Khaki's going to make anything tomorrow. Khaki might skip tomorrow, to be honest. You might just have me tomorrow. I'm I okay with that. I know you're tired. I'm, I'm fine with it. I'm very tired. All right, we'll see you guys tomorrow. Or I'll see you guys tomorrow. Nighty night. Have a good night, guys. <laughs>